Hello, my followers. Today is Wednesday. I'm not sure the date. I want to say like maybe the 5th or the 6th or something of September 2022. I just saw this wonderful documentary the other day called The Earth, The Year the Earth Changed or something like that. It's like a Apple TV documentary. And it's essentially about, you know, during COVID quarantine, when we're all quarantined and, you know, locked down and whatnot, the Earth literally changed. It, like, fixed itself from global warming. Because, I mean, the Earth is pretty much doomed the more we mess up you know the atmosphere and stuff and global greenhouse gases and stuff and all this different bad stuff that we're doing to the atmosphere and coal and things coming out of cars emissions and all this stuff so this kind of proved that if we really wanted to go green we could fix it my fear I don't know like the timetable for when it would happen but if we don't clean up the earth this could end up like Mars like pretty quick the atmosphere could all be stripped away um, oceans could rise storms could get worse I mean there's a lot of different implications and anyone who discounts science it's just kind of laughable at this point. We pretty much know it's true. Science is real. Global warming is real. And if we don't do something about it, this Earth is going to be doomed. And we only have one Earth. This is it. This is this is this is our home. And this, you know, it, you know, if we build like a spaceship or something, and like make that our home and travel the cosmos that would be our only other option basically if we lose this earth and i don't think technologically we're quite there yet i think nasa is getting close i think scientists are getting close but i don't think we are quite to that level where we can build a a mothership that will take care of everybody you know for years to come floating through space kind of like in that Orville episode where they found the floating ship with the biodome and the people inside thought they were just like in a planet somewhere didn't know about the outside world so it could be a, could build something like that but it's not going to be anytime soon so we got to take care of what we have we got to do what we have to do to clean up our act here and I fear that even if America was willing to do it, even if most of Europe was, even if most of the civilized world was willing to do it, there's still so many countries that just don't want to get on board and are going to make this difficult. So, I mean, it might be a case where there's nothing we could do about it. And I mean, I, you could take the stance of, oh, it's not going to be in my lifetime. Well, no, but it could be in your kids or your grandkids' lifetime or their kids' lifetime. And I personally care about future generations, not just my generation. I think it would be pretty shallow to think just in those terms of just it being about me and my generation. I care about everybody, including future generations, because that's family. And I don't want to see my family hurt in the future. So that's uh, not sad about that documentary. Very good documentary. I would recommend it. Uh, very good documentary. David Attenborough, he is the brother of um, the other Attenborough guy. What's his name? I forget. The guy from Jurassic Park. They're both knights. The name is, like, escaping me at the moment, but... Richard, Sir Richard Attenborough and Sir David Attenborough. I think they're both knights, if I'm not mistaken. 
Now that's cool. I wish I was a knight. That'd be awesome. Okay, so, well, that's that about global warming. Let me go on to another subject that is near and dear to me. And that is Disney. I'm going to Disney this weekend. I'm nervous. I have anxieties. I'm scared. Excited, but scared. But I know it's good for me to get out and do stuff. Because since COVID, I've become somewhat of a hermit. And that's not good. I need to get out. I need to enjoy life, even if it makes me nervous and scared. So, my followers, if you can please give me some words of encouragement, that would be really appreciative. I would really appreciate that. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be home for the game. Coming home, going to Dan Danny's in Orlando, and then heading home. It's like about a two and a half hour drive. Southwest Florida. So, be home for the Giants game. I'm going to listen to it on the radio. So, hopefully they do good. I'm not going to make any proclamations, but hopefully they just do better than four games. Show improvement. Competitiveness. If they do that, I'll be fine. I'm not going to make any proclamations. I'm not going to say whether they're going to be good or not. But I'm just sick of losing. I'm really sick of losing. One of my teams has to win. The Yankees, the Knicks... Giants, you know. I saw the Capitals from a couple of years ago. That was cool. Um, not too caring over whether my college teams win or not. You know, it's just college. They're just kids. I like Maryland. I like University of Maryland. I like um, Notre Dame football. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just fun. So, I'm going to say goodbye now. Let's take in my beautiful backyard here. That over there is my room. It's an in-law suite. Got a bathroom. Door out to the pool, outside area. It's a nice big room. Just about as big as a um, master bedroom. And then this is the rest of... The backyard, the Lanai area. And there's the kitchen. I think my mom's doing a puzzle or something. So I will say goodbye and everybody have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Wonderful weekend. And hopefully I get through a wonderful trip at Disney and my Giants win. If all that happens, I'll be very happy. So... God bless, and I will definitely post soon. Peace out.